Hello guys, it's Pug Gaming here with a little tutorial tip for you guys. Now how many times have you guys had issues with placing roads and the zoning messing up or not quite generating the amount of zoning area you actually want? Well I think I have a solution for you guys and again it's using one of my favourite mods on the workshop, the Move It tool. So what I'm doing here is I'm using the Move It tool to simply move the nodes of the road itself and the length to pretty much just space out for example this little cul-de-sac so as you can see there's a few areas here that I'd want to get a little bit closer so a bit more parallel to one another so we click on the node and just give it a little move sometimes it takes a little while sometimes it takes seconds but it gives you that ability now to really place your buildings exactly where you want to and for example this map isn't the best one to really show you guys it on because this is quite a terrainy map so the roads itself I'm also having to use the um, page up and down on the nose to get that a bit more flat but the concept is still the same here you just move the roads around now we can use the same concept here to make a smaller cul-de-sac so what I'm trying to do here is just end this road and just have two buildings two large houses on the end as it's not very often really you find a dead end road with nothing there so cul de sacs are very common certainly in the UK so I'm thinking what we can do here we can use the move it mod to stretch out the road and as you can see we've got one block of four here but ideally I want to have two big houses at the end of this road on, on the cul de sac so what we can do here is we can actually extend the road itself and move it around and as you can see each time I'm moving this we are getting a separation in the middle of these four well the four blocks here but what I want to do is we're actually going to pull the actual road from one side to the other to make it longer and we can then slowly generate a larger area which we can then put two lots of houses on so you can see these are two single houses we've managed to achieve so far and we sometimes have to move this little area around as well but once we get to a point that we are happy with so that's a, a nice smooth bend and we've got the two houses in a, a good area we could just do this here now and that's gonna also look, look much better than it would do normally but I want to get a block of four either side so like I say we're just gonna extend each corner of the T junction here here we go so we've got the four blocks this side and just do the same the other side a little bit of t uh, well tweaking around and you'll, you'll get there in the end there we go that's that one and now you can again move the middle section to get the house well the zonable area closer or further apart from one another but you have to remember that sometimes when you move one area you then have to change the other but I'm hoping that this will give you a better understanding on how you can use the move it tool mod to really well get your building placements exactly where you want it's gonna save a lot of time it saved me a lot of time and effort and it also means you can create some extremely amazing curves and bends in the road by clicking and picking up the nodes and moving those themselves rather than actually using the road um, curve option. So guys, I hope that's been of some assistance from you. It certainly helped me out. Check out my other videos and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. All the best.